Hi, this is Gail from Life and Splatters, and this is a pretty little 12 by 16 inch oval canvas, which I flooded with a very pale silver paint, uh, which I created using Artist Loft White and adding a little PBO silver to it and mixing it well. So it has a slight grayish hue. And now I'm applying my colors. And I have a uh, Modern Masters English Browns. I have Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents Gold Mine. I am using the Modern Masters Burnt Orange, to which I added some gold. And I am swiping over this right now using silver, uh, PBO's Iridescent Silver. So I've done a, a great big schmear by putting some of the silver on the back of the palette knife and I'm smearing it over the colors. And you can see there is some really pretty lacing that's happening. But I want a little more drama and for that uh, I need to smear with black. Now that does look better to me. A little more drama, a lot more contrast, and it will make these metallic paints really pop. I paint in a bay window, and you can see how the lighting changes throughout the day. It goes from sunny to overcast back to sunny. So I apologize for the inconsistency in the lighting. Um, so I've turned the canvas around, and I find that I do schmears better uh, in one direction than in the other. So when I'm doing a second half of a painting where I'm starting it from the bottom going up on the right side, I know I can schmear better going to the right than coming down. So sometimes turning your canvas around helps you uh, with your flow and, and your ease of movement. Little mistakes are easily fixed. You can swipe them off of the canvas and then touch it up with a, a little dab of your base color.
Now I'm turning it around again and I'm assessing the composition. And it's, it's attractive, but it needs just a little bit more. Uh, so I take a bit of gold paint and I draw another sort of leaf line up and into that large area of negative space. And that simple one gesture just completes and fills that little bit of void that was a bit too much. Um, yeah, sometimes just adding one little line of color will improve the composition of the paint the piece. So here it is without that last gold line. And it, it looks okay, but there seems to be something missing. And here it is with that one last gold flourish that really just helps complete the piece. So again, thank you so much for coming along with me on this journey. I appreciate your kind comments. I'm overwhelmed by some of the wonderful things you say. I'm still varnishing madly for this show, uh, which is cutting into my painting time, but I still need to paint. So let's keep playing with pigments and making beautiful things. Thanks so much for all your support. Take care. Bye.